back with another video and I wanted we wanted to talk about the good the bad and the ugly yes 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 so a lot of um, subscribers hi welcome back um, you guys asked the question um, you see all the good and I always talk about my journey and things like that but you know some people have horror stories about their journey I'm sorry I don't have any horror stories but I do have the good the bad the ugly okay so for the good and this is the good <laughs> I'm very happy with my results she's very happy with her results yes Dr. Medina, thank you, Dr. Medina, and and, um, <laughs> and the Dominicans. That's what her practice is for hooking her up. <laughs> okay, so the good, of course, is what I showed you, and I'm very happy with the results after two years being post op. So, um, and this result comes with a lot of exercise, still eating healthy. I did gain twenty or ten pounds. Um, from another ver uh, video that I did coming straight out of surgery so just go back and take a look at the other videos previous videos but um, yeah this is at like maybe a 10 15 um, pound weight gain this is what it looks like after two years um, so this is the good so now the bad I would say is the swelling I still get swelling after two years I still have a little bit of numbness down here in this area Okay, I'm going to just zoom in so that they can see yeah, what you're talking down about. The down at the pelvic area. area. to where the surgery, where they did the tummy tuck. I still have a little bit of numbness, but um, the, the sensation is coming back. Um, and I believe for me it did take the actual two years for me to actually feel that. And I'm still gradually feeling a little bit more each day. Um, good the bad. Okay, so we're still, we're we're good we're still the on bad. the bad. So, okay, so, so far you bad. said the swelling. Okay, so the swelling. Um, another thing of the bad was I smoked up until, which was not um, recommended, at least a month right before prior to my surgery. Um, I think the cutoff is six months. Do a little bit more research. I can do other videos on, you know, going into a little bit more details about that. But um, so um, after that, I did have to go into the oxygen chambers um, and try to um, put some more oxygen into my body for my healing. Um, and I think as a result... I was left with a um, little pouch right here, and it's very hard. So I'm, I'm believing that it's just scar tissue, things of that nature. Um, it's just really still. Can you show them what it looks like when you bend over? Yes. So, and this is part of the bad as well for me. Um, you know, this part is flat, which, you know, is my main thing when you're wearing any clothes or whatever. But this pouch right here is um you know something i don't i don't like and you feel part. like that could be scar tissue um i feel like if you can feel it i, I don't feel, i feel like i'm playing with myself here <laughs> <laughs> but it, it feels hard it feels hard and it's like it could be built up fluids or whatever it, yeah, it could it be built up fluids it could be dead tissue or whatever so um yes yeah, so and you what, said that could be related it's related to smoking I think one of the reasons that I have this issue right here is related to smoking. Mm. So I highly recommend that if you are a smoker, not to smoke at least six months prior to you getting your surgery. Whether whatever rec rec recreational <laughs> things that you may do, don't do it for at least six months. So that would be the bad, I would say. Um, the ugly, we can go into the scar a little bit, but as you can see with even something as skimpy as what I'm wearing right now, um, you don't really see any of the scars. So that is really nice. You know, all of the tummy tuck scars is hidden. You know, you can wear something. Because like they cut it, they do a very low. It's a big, it's right underneath the bikini cut. line. So, yeah, it's yeah. very discreet. Um, so I'm going to let you guys see what the scar looks like after two years. Um, I'll go into like some type of regimen and tell you what I do as far as the healing of the scar. But um, you got hip to hip. Hip to hip. So let's see. So from here. From there. Very low. And then for, to this to this hip. So not bad, but I mean it could 
it can be better it can be lightened but I mean hey that's it I'm, I'm happy with that result I'm not it doesn't matter as far as the, the scar and that's not a big deal to me as long as I can, I can hide it you know I'm fine so um, because I felt like that was a issue for me which was the pouch what I'm gonna venture off and do guys is do a light bulb cavitation so what that is is they're gonna just do a um, a deep deep massage kind of look it up we'll go into another video I don't have that much time left here to describe everything about the lipo cavitation but we will go visit revisit that in a, another video but I'm gonna do another journey and um, let's just see how it goes if that's gonna rectify this area which is that and if part. you guys have any like um, if, if anyone had surgery and have actually yeah. experienced that please let us know um or email my mom and just you know share sharing is caring share Absolutely. the wealth of information guys we are Absolutely. all doing this together so we'll see you guys in One the more. next